going to show you how to make double doors so that you can pull a tab, one tab, and two doors will open in opposite directions. Um, on the back side, you'll see that it's indeed one tab um, going in the same direction, but the doors open in opposite direction. The materials are here. I use cardstock to make the pull tabs. That works best. If you don't have cardstock, just take a bunch of paper, three or four pieces, glue them together so they become stiff like cardstock. Um, double doors need two types of pull tabs to open in opposite directions. So I'm going to show you both of those pull tabs. I'll start with a simple one. Um, it's just a piece of cardstock that's going to be your pull tab and just use that as a guide to mark out onto the card where you're going to place it. That way you know how um, long your uh, slit is going to be, your hole. So I'm just going to slice the hole open. I'm going to make it two parallel slices. Um, that way it's more of a buttonhole and um, it's a lot easier to use because uh, the door will pivot on that hole and it'll be a more smooth motion if the hole is not too tight. Okay, so you take the cardstock, fold um, over one side from the edge about two centimeters in like this and then about halfway from that fold line to the edge I'm gonna mark it with pencil but basically all you have to do is place glue from that halfway point to the edge and then insert that part from the bottom of the card into the card through the hole and then you can attach your door there now so I've got my door simple uh, rectangle and I'm just gonna attach it right up to the glue line like this so notice how there's a gap on that pull tab just push the gap down so the door is touching the hole and then now you have the gap sitting on the back side of the card. Um, you have to place a stopper in that gap, which is a piece of paper that's longer than the hole and just as wide as the gap is from the hole to the fold line. That way the pull tab won't slip through the hole anymore. It's going to stay right where it is and that way the door can swing back and forth and the pivot point of that fold on the the, um, the pull tab can stay far away from the hole and that's what allows for that pivoting motion so when you pull the cup pull the tab the door opens so notice when you try to use the same mechanism for the double doors um, it won't work because when you pull on it both of the doors will swing in the same direction so even if you take one of those and turn it around like this so that the folds will actually face each other underneath and the doors face each other, it doesn't matter because when you pull on those tabs on one side, the doors are still going to swing in the same direction. It's because you're pulling from it from the same side and it's just made to swing in only one direction. So you need to make the opposite swing pull tab. I'll show you how to do that here. So you take the um, same steps, a piece of cardstock, two centimeters in, fold it, and then instead of marking it out in pencil, just fold it over again to the halfway point so you have two creases like this. See? Okay. Just keep in mind that with this kind of uh, pull tab, the pivot point is no longer at the hole. I'll show you that later, but just keep that in mind. Okay, just like the other one, you put glue on the top end, the top half of that uh, tab like this, and then you attach it next to the hole with the short end of the, um, the pull tab facing the hole toward the outside of the card. And then you just cut relief slits down the sides of the hole like this you can now lift up that lip of the hole just to make it easier for the pull tab to um, slide back and forth through that hole 
So there it is. And now you can push the tail through the hole and now you have your pull tab. Okay, so just put some glue on that exposed part there. This is now the new pivot point. Um, just place your door's edge, inner edge, on that pivot point like this to glue it on. Now when you pull on the tab, the door opens. Just like the other one except in the opposite direction. I narrowed down my doors here because they were just too wide and I just want to make sure that you can see that they're swinging in opposite directions. Okay, next is joining the tabs together to make one tab. So uh, the pull tabs, first of all, should shift in the same distance and lay flat underneath. So to make sure that happens, the measure from the peak of the fold to its base should be the same on both of the tabs. So see this measure here? It should be the same as this measure right here. As long as those two measures are the same, both of the pull tabs will slide in exactly the same distance. So push the doors back closed, flip the card over, see where the, um, the two tabs land on each other naturally. Just put glue there so that they'll stick together. Great. And when you flip it over, you have one pull tab. And that's it. Um, you can finish this off by uh, taking another piece of paper and just covering both of the tabs on the back like this so that it looks smooth and one colored. Um, or you can cover the entire back like I did with this card with a full cover sheet um, like this. And all I did was raise it up so that um, I used foam, uh, actually an accordion folded piece of paper um, and I cut it in four pieces and I stuck it on all four corners. That way it's raised up and the pull tab can swing back and forth. And that's, those are all the basics on how to um, make doors and also make double doors. Um, you can do all kinds of damage with this. I hope you have a lot of fun. Thanks. Bye. Hit the like button, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, um, share my videos with someone else. Otherwise, just check out my other videos on my channel. Square tight!